Hello everyone, and it's Terry. And this is a bit of a care club, and it is on Happy Appealums. Now, there are different types of paths, and they all sort of require different cultures. So you really have to do your research when you're working with paths. Paphia peatlands have the reputation of being very slow growing. Unfortunately, I don't have one really in bloom. Um, they really take a lot of patience. This is a species, this is Spiceriana, and it generally blooms one flower to a blooming, sometimes two. Um, Spiceriana, is from India, China. It is a low to moderate altitude um, species of Paphiopelum. Very pleasing, very easy to grow. Actually, paths are easy once you get them to a blooming size, being that the difference between bloom size is, now this is not a bloom size plant, although it is has a spike on it. The difference is a bloom size plant generally has more than one growth. Growth being each segment is a growth and capable of a bloom. Once they bloom, they're not going to bloom again. Now, there are um, factors to success with blooming. You really have to make sure that paths, when they're seedlings, do not dry out. So, therefore, you really need to have them in a mix that is moisture retentive. I tend to use the same mix that I use for my Phalaenopsis, which has good drainage in there, but it also has um, some cocoa husk, and also uh, it's like ground up tree fern that, and, and some other things that are moisture retentive so that it, the roots will never dry out. That's, and also when you use moisture retentive material as, if, as in sphagnum, um, you really have to change the medium frequently, meaning yearly, because roots will go sour and when you are constantly up potting up that a path, that is when you know that you are doing well when you're constantly moving it up to a bigger pot and it gets the babies. When it gets the babies, that is when it is capable of blooming. So as I'm going back to this one, there are no little pups yet. So if this plant dies before it puts one up, then the reproduction cycle will end and it will not survive. And that is the cycle of a Paphiopelum. Generally, it's the cycle of orchids in general because, you know, it's all about reproduction. And that's not just orchids. So this is where I have my other paths for the most part. In this area, these are more multi-floral paths. If you can uh, look past these dendrobiums here and this encyclia, which I'll just set over this way. But yeah, these are all mature multi-florals. As you can see, they have multiple fans and they are growing. And these are more so in a bark mix but only until they get to a bloom size do I have them in that kind of a mix because as I've said for me they need more of a moisture until they get to be bloom size now I have more down here that are doing really really well this is my Gary Romagna that just bloomed here's my Philip Nins that this is a good example this bloomed but I'm anxiously waiting to see a pup because until it puts a pup 
it will die and the plant will not go further. Here is my Pavstonii, which is a Borneo species, repeatedly very slow growing, but once it gets to be bloom size, it picks up speed. And there's two new growths. Here's my Henry Anum that just finished blooming. And so, as I said, you should be careful with the media. I should be pot bees. That is sphagnum and it's putting up a new fan. It's time to repot that into something fresh. They are very sensitive to that, as I should do this one as well. Um, this is my Prince Edward of York that bloomed, and it needs a repot. You can see the media is old. It is putting up another fan here that hasn't bloomed. It bloomed from this fan. There is the spike. So in order to keep this fan healthy, it needs to be repotted. And they can be repotted at any time. They're not like Cattleyas, they're not really sensitive to that. So, anyway, the only other advice that I can give you is for some of those multiflorals, they often can be lithophytic. And so they benefit from excess calcium when you are fertilizing either by the addition of seashells um, you know I also have uh, made a little mixture of some dolomitic lime with just water and spread that and made a little paste and put that on the top and then it will harden but it will be a slow release kind of thing which is good so, but anyway, that's pretty much my care club. I don't put them outside. I leave them pretty much in that spot right there. Um, my past, that is. Um, they like light. And if they are slow to bloom, increase the light. And watered you around. And they don't want it too cool, too much of a cooler break in the winter, although they can take it cooler, more so than multiflorals. The species do not want it to be too cool. But that is my curriculum, folks. Again, sorry I don't have anything strictly in bloom, but I have some pictures. And thanks for watching. Enjoy your kids. Bye.